All right, guys, we're doing our kid lesson today. We're gonna work on the Americana submission. All right, so I'm first gonna show it from the mount position. All right, so I start to full mount. My goal is to get his wrist and his elbow, both of my hands. I'm gonna shake his arm to the floor. Once his arm is totally flattened out, I keep control of his wrist and my elbow on this side goes on the floor next to his neck. Now from here, I use my other hand. I'm gonna go underneath his arm. I crawl through and I'm gonna go palm down and I grab my own wrist, all right? Once I have this grip, this is my figure four lock, okay? Now, to finish this submission, I'm gonna take his elbow, I'm gonna pull it to his ribs to really lock his shoulder in place. And as I do this, I make sure his hand stays on the floor. I always tell the kids, like imagine your, his hand's a paintbrush and you're painting the ground with the hand, okay? So once I have this position in, I pull everything in and there'll be the tap. If whatever reason, um, you're not getting a tap as you pull it in. What you do is you'll keep the hand down and you'll raise the elbow up. Um, if your shoulder is super tight, a lot of times just pulling the submission in will we'll get the tap, okay? One of the details is when I'm in this position, if my legs aren't doing anything, if he goes to bridge, I'm gonna get thrown off and I'm gonna lose the position. So the trick here is whichever side I'm attacking, my arm on the, uh, or my leg on the other side will hook in and I get what's called a grapevine where I point my toes to the ceiling and this helps me stabilize. So when I have this grip, he goes to bridge, I'm not getting thrown off and losing position. That way my hands can stay here and I can finish, okay? Um, this submission can also be done from side control. So I'm in side control, his arms across my neck. I just grab his wrist, push it to the floor, elbow next to the neck, same thing. I go underneath his arm, pull this in, and I finish the submission. So um, we're gonna add this submission in the context of the games we were doing earlier. So um, let's do the arm bar too. That's right. So one other thing we can do is whenever I'm attacking this uh, submission, one time what they can do is they defend. So as I pull this over, he'll grab his hands together and pull it across. As he pulls his arm across, look, his arm's down. I slide up and I gorilla walk. I enter into my arm bar position and then I can attack. So while I'm attacking one submission, when he defends, I can attack another right away. So one more time with that, I push his arm down, he goes to grab it, he pulls it across, I let him, chest down, gorilla walk, be good, post, sit over into the armbar position. So those are two submissions you can do. Um, and I wanna use these submissions with the games we were doing earlier. So for the first game was when we were in guard, I have to get my posture. I'm working on backing up, opening up, passing. Once I pass, side control right here. He's got his arm in my neck. Grab the wrist, pull it down, get my submission. Another way, I can be in mount. I have to stabilize. He goes to push me off. I grab the head, I post. Grab the head and I post. Goes up, swim through. He's moving around, I'm following. Boom, right here, catch it. So the idea is just move around, make them do all the, the drills we've been doing. Like you want our bulldozer, chase them around, following him into the turtle position. And then whenever you're ready, feed them, be Americana, let them get the submission and have a great time with it. Thanks guys.